Hi everyone, it's Lori, and I am here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I just want to give you a reminder that I'm going to use the acronym AURA space AY in my description of the video so you will know that it is your uplifting reading all about you. It will also be listed under um, that particular folder, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you can always search my channel and find all the uplifting readings in one place. I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and doing well. Let me roll the zodiac die. Nope, we don't do that here. Let's go ahead and get right into your message. Who are we focusing on today? Who are we honoring? And let's see what magical quality you possess. The green man, the emperor, owning your own emperor energy, okay? You are standing tall. This is emperor empress energy, but more so in the emperor because it's um, very calm, okay? There's very little emotion here. Not that you don't have emotion, but it's like emotions don't... You're not wearing your heart on your sleeve or anything like that, okay? Okay? If you were the Empress, you would be receiving as well as giving. This is more of a giving energy here, okay? So you do tend to give a little bit um, to everybody, which is great balance for you, okay? You're not spreading yourself too thin or anything. But this is the, the Emperor is connected. The Emperor knows who, who he is, he, who or she is. Okay, they know everything that they own. They pay close attention to what they have. Okay, they know their boundaries. They know where their realm stops and others people's, other king, other emperors' kingdoms start. Okay, so you are good at having boundaries, understanding your boundaries, honoring other people's boundaries, but you're abundant. You're giving. You're caring. You can transform. Okay. You adapt to whatever situation comes your way. You're also very caring, very tender-hearted. Um, you may come from a large family. I'm hearing some of you may come from a family that has up to eight children. All right. <clears throat> of course, that's going to be, you know, for one or two people out there, not everybody. Uh, some of you definitely are, your family is in... The horticultural aspect of life, um, agricultural maybe, so like a, 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 a plant nursery or farmers, okay, or botanists. I'm definitely getting a very um, deep connection to nature here. So that's a, a very magical quality about you, okay, that you have that connectedness of your whole kingdom, that everything comes together. All right, what's an accomplishment that you've had in the past that you should be very proud of? Ace of Swords, you learn the truth about something early on, and it has led you to many, many successes since then. That is really good. This is almost, for some of you, this is a college education. For others of you, this is a spiritual awakening. Um, others of you, I am hearing you found the truth out about who your parents were. So you may have been adopted, didn't know that. Once you got that knowledge, you were able to process things that had been kind of hidden from you. You felt like you never quite, you just weren't quite right. Like things were not quite right. And now you have complete clarity, okay? Complete understanding. But you've also become an advocate for finding truth, I'm hearing. You are the person who can unlock doors for other people because of this past accomplishment. You show people. You can show people how to do that. So you should be very proud of that. All right. This is how you influence the people around you. The Five of Swords, you have this. There's nothing I can't do attitude here. Okay. That's exactly what this card is telling me, that there is nothing out there. Because I have all the knowledge. The knowledge is there. If, if someone else can do it, I can do it. Okay? And you have this do or die attitude. Like, you really get bothered by people that um, start something and then say, oh, this is just too hard. I, I can't do that. Oh, that kind of attitude really upsets you. 
um, not personally, you know, like you're, you look at the person and like, oh, I wish I could just show them. And you do. Okay. That is your special quality. That is how you impact the people around you. You show them that anything that they set their mind to, they can absolutely accomplish. And you do that sometimes just through example. Other times you may have to have actual conversations with people. And I'm hearing, especially it might be your kids or other family members. Okay, that you have to have the conversation with. Otherwise, most people just pick it up from you from example, watching what you do. What is another skill or talent that you have? The Eight of Swords. A lot of sword energy here. A lot of air energy. All right, a lot of truth, honesty. Um, the Eight of Swords is about, normally about being conflicted, but here I'm not seeing that at all. What I am seeing is being able to take all the pieces, all the information, and put bring it all together, okay, to get clarity. Sometimes you might feel like you are out in a desert, don't have any of the information, you don't know where you're going to get any of the resources from to make something happen, but you do. You always find that oasis. You always find it, okay? Great, great skill there. What is something that you do that you should never, ever stop doing? Three of Wands. Yeah, looking to the future, but also understanding where you've come from, enjoying the present moment, and understanding that you have a bright, beautiful future ahead of you. Very fertile. Again, we've got this deep-rooted um, tree energy here, plant, nature. Um this is a skill for you, okay? This is something you're very, very good at. I'm hearing for some of you, there's somebody out there, and this is probably one person, that treats trees that have diseases and helps them to recover, okay? I'm sure that's one person. If that's you, please claim this in the comments. Say, I'm the tree guy or tree girl, okay? Um, but for the most part, this is your connectedness to nature okay there's more here because this is something you should never ever stop doing it, it's it's about you understanding and bringing together all the elements again i'm getting that magician's energy here because you trust your intuition you found out a truth and for, like I said, for some of you, this is completely spiritual, where you found out a, a, a truth about life that has made life very easy for you. Made it so that you say there's nothing you can't overcome, okay? Beautiful energy here. Never stop tying things together. Never stop being present in the moment. That's what kept trying to come through. But honoring your past and being hopeful for the future, okay? Beautiful energy here. How can you honor, cherish yourself, or <laughs> take care of yourself? Yeah, your your long-term plans are solid. You, you've already built a nice legacy for yourself. So you just have to remind yourself. You've put the hard work in already. You, you, now you, you can relax a little bit and just enjoy. Okay, just enjoy the way life goes. Beautiful energy here. Let's start off with the uh, spirit animal oracles today. I love this reading. I love this energy. I love I love you, whoever you are. This is very wholesome. Very, very beautiful energy here. All right. We're going to cut and then we're going to... Oh, look at that. Be spirit was put back in the deck upside down, but there are sweet results awaiting you. Okay? So that is definitely <clears throat> something to uh, keep in mind. That you have some happiness coming your way. Some sweet results. And spirit. Time to collaborate. You're good at that collaborating too. Bringing people together. The clarity. The understanding. And 30. Grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. And I'm hearing four. Okay. Three and one would be four. Um, and I'm hearing the you're attaining goals you will reach a goal when you take this leap of faith you're going to have to trust in others to help you i do want to point out and i looked okay there's a mandala here and a mandala here 
So there is something about that, the connectedness, the connections, the working, the collaboration. There is something here. On the bottom is four. Okay, so we got 44. Everything's solid and grounded. There's some small things. Um, normally I would say that need your attention, but what I'm hearing is, is the small things count too. Okay, so the small things are going to add up. All right, let me find my book. And which would you like me to read you? I think we need to read the collaboration. All right. Yes, Spirit agrees. We need to read the collaboration. Okay, Ant Spirit. When Ant Spirit comes to visit, it's to celebrate the benefits of working in a partnership with others as part of a community or a tribe. Spirit reminds you that to build your dream, you need to work with others. Accept help and trust in your most important partnership, the one that you have with Spirit. Your intentions will come to fruition if you remain awake and focused on co-creating your reality with others and with Spirit. Remember that the world around you can easily seduce you if you don't have some sort of practice or discipline like meditation to keep you on track as you build the life that you desire. Connecting with others and having accountability partners can be very helpful, as it's unlikely that everyone will fall asleep at the same time. The other message Ant Spirit holds is that you are now at an auspicious time to ask for help and to receive it, whether you need help assembling a team, finding a new tribe, or requesting assistance from others who are there for you. Everything is working to support you right now. So everything is going according to plan. I was just told to please roll the Zodiac die. So some of those helpful people could be Aries, Cancers, Geminis, or Aquarius. Okay, so if you know people around you with those signs, look to them to help you. Okay, maybe answers, just providing support, emotional, mental, physical support. All right, they do want me to read um, Grasshopper Spirit here, too. Okay, Grasshopper Spirit, take a leap of faith. Right now, you are poised to jump up into the next level of your life and move forward into something even better than you could ever have imagined. When Grasshopper Spirit appears, it is a fortuitous time to take a leap of faith into the unknown. For Grasshopper Spirit represents the innovative spirit that says, why not? And has the faith in its powers of co-creation. You are being called to trust that this is the right time to go with that idea, relationship, or situation. Take risks, for abundance in all forms will show up for you. Wondrous things await when Grasshopper Spirit appears. You are not going to go backwards, so listen to your intuition rather than your fearful ego that resists any change and clings wor worriedly to what was. Luck is on your side. Jump up and forward with confidence, for Spirit has so much in store for you if only you take that leap. Okay? Take that leap of faith. All right. They're saying to read the protection message. It says, Is it hard for you to trust in good fortune because you have been hurt in the past when you took a risk? Staying earthbound does not offer the safety that you seek, for that can be found only through trusting that spirit is always with you and that spirit wants the very best for you. Your intuition is guidance from spirit, telling you to let go of your fears and leap into the abundance and good fortune that's awaiting you. Grasshopper spirit reminds you that the only way now is to jump forward. Can you be willing to trust the unknown? The great mystery that can't fully... you. Mm. Let's try that sentence again. Can you be willing to trust the unknown? The great mystery that can't fully understand, that you can't fully understand, even if you take the teeniest leap in consciousness to be willing, it's a beautiful beginning. Sure, every leap forward brings a new challenge, but you can handle it with spirit as your partner. Trusting that this new experience will only deepen your life with magic and meaning. So take a leap of faith. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
All right, let's get you some Whispers of Love Oracle messages here. Yeah, I'm sure you can probably hear the garbage pickup in the background. At least it's not that squeaky washing machine, huh? <laughs> it's absolutely a gorgeous day outside today. I got the windows open. I got a fan going on my back. It's beautiful out here. All right, we've got card 42. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. And let's see here. This one. Number 10, treasure your loved ones. All right, so we have 42, which is 6. We have 10. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Choose Love, card number 21. All right, let's get the book. Rest and Relaxation, because I know we just read this one, so definitely Spirit wants that. One page the other way, thank you. Rest and Relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. You are at your best when all aspects of your life are balanced. That's the truth for Libras, isn't it? Love yourself and the people in your life enough to create an environment where everyone has the opportunity to take care of their needs. You are at your best and able to fully appreciate all that life offers when you are well rested. When you are under a lot of stress, your muscles respond and become tense. Be aware of what stress, what stress feels like for you and implement some relaxation techniques to keep things from escalating. Your ability to calm down and relax will improve with practice. It is important to recognize and address your needs. Do not wait until you are completely de depleted before you stop for rejuvenation. Make relaxation a part of your day. G give your mind and muscles a much needed rest. A mermaid dreams as she lies on the ocean floor and a pod of dolphins swim overhead. The pale green hue of the artwork highlights a need to take time to heal. Dolphins have an innate ability to go into a beta state for rest after a long night of hunting. What is your idea of relaxing? Allow rest and relaxation to be part of your life. All right, beautiful messages here. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up claim it in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already until our energies cross again my dear dear libras and anyone else is watching this message i'm wishing you much peace love and happiness bye bye